<laughs> so stupid. Hey guys, uh, today's a big day. So basically we're gonna be doing a, an unboxing of the new rock grinder. Um, and uh, I got this rock grinder from Cafune. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, hopefully uh, I didn't screw that up, Justin. And uh, so I ordered it from them, uh, I guess about a week ago. It took about five days to come in and uh, it finally arrived. So uh, I'm excited to share this with you guys and uh, you know, give you my thoughts and opinions on, on this grinder as, uh, as someone that's kind of an entry level um, home barista, you could say. So uh, looking forward to some feedback if you're in the, in the market for this one. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of clarity on uh, you know, what to shop for and, and uh, maybe possibly even pick up this grinder as opposed to some other ones but uh, stick around I'll make a separate review video uh, but today I want to kind of share with you guys the experience that I had from Cafune um, as far as uh, the buying process and the, and the unboxing and the, and the delivery uh, from them so uh, let's get started Boom. So right from the gate, you have this beautiful box with some Cafune tape on the sides. Um, again, like Canada Post does a pretty good job of, of taking care of business. Um, but let's get started. Uh, it's a shame you gotta cut through this tape, but uh, we gotta get after it. So let's see here. There's one. There's two. Grand finale. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Cafune. Right down the middle. All right. This is where the magic happens. This is why I was so impressed when I got my. Look at that beautiful paper. Nice little sticker there. Cafune. And the holy. Oh. So let's peel this back, nice and slow. This is like. Paper I would save for Christmas, you know? I might. I just might. Woo! Here we go. Haha! Another note, my friend Justin. Thanks again, Radic. You rock. Officially now. Enjoy the grind and brew beautifully. I love it. So, personal touches like this just always get me going. Thanks a lot, Justin. I really appreciate it, man. Looking forward to it. And then in the box, uh, here we go. Here's the grinder. And uh, you could probably check out, there's some, this kind of like nice, uh, probably recycled kind of filling. And, oh, got a little something in here. Oh, a little coffee, okay, chocolate caramel, I'm stoked, this is awesome. Collection Blue, kaidocoffee.com. Well, thanks a lot, guys, this is amazing. I really appreciate that, I'm so pumped to give this a shot. Excellent. Might have to do a separate review on this. All right, so getting right into the grinder. Let's tuck that away. See if I can pull this baby out. And then, all right, so here we go. Again, nicely packaged. It's just so clean. I, I love that. All right, this is kind of what the box looks like. On the front, new and improved. Raw Coffee Grinder GC. Give you some instructions on the side. Okay. So, oh, I'm pumped. This is exciting. We open up the box. Oh, this is kind of like a origami style thing. So let's let's try this. Open from the top. Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, it's kind of how it presents. You got a little smaller box inside. There's the grinder right there. 10 year guarantee, that's what I'm talking about. Metal parts of the rock grinder are guaranteed for 10 years, domestic use only. So domestic, I don't know if I'm domestic technically, but uh, who knows? So a little bit of an instruction manual in just about every single language. One to two click looks like Turkish. Two to six clicks looks like espresso. 11 to 19 clicks looks like uh, V60. 10 to 24, 12 to 24 is French press. So that's kind of nice. I might have to kind of rip that off and put it off to the side. This is awesome. Right on. It feels, I love how solid it is and you can see the burrs inside. We'll get a closer look at that here in a second. And uh, it's, got a, it's got 
got a good solid feel to it. I think this bottom piece might be like a plastic, but this whole thing is, is fully metal. This is a little plastic coating, you can see the gears. Yeah, so let's, let's take a look at what's in here. So here I'm assuming we have a handle. Little scrap of paper there. Another little scrap of paper. And then here's our handle. Here's the handle. So something here you could probably put in a little, uh, um, like a little grease to make that slip on or rotate nicely. And then I'm assuming this is our bamboo ground cup. Throw that out. Oh, this is kind of nice. Right on. I can't believe this is bamboo. This is actually bamboo. No, no way. This has got to be made out of plastic. Or do they just call it like a... Anyways, I'm probably sounding like an idiot right now. It's for sure got to be plastic, but... Maybe they just call it a bamboo catch thing? Probably. Let's piece this baby together and see kind of what we got. So, um, I think this would go rotate on backwards. So that should make it more coarse. And then now this should screw on, hopefully. And it is. This feels so satisfying to turn. And I, I love that. I love that how it's so mechanical. And I can't wait to grind beans with this thing. Nice, that feels so good. Let's get a close up of this beauty. Oh, this feels great. On the bottom it has this kind of like little rubbery uh, shenanigan. Now, I've seen, I guess, on uh, a few other models that this was kind of like a, like a sticky thing. It doesn't seem to be that way here, but there's, like, I mean, you can kind of see. I think I would, I'd probably hold it, you know, down from the top and grind. I probably wouldn't just do it one hand unless, no, I just wouldn't do it one hand. Pull it from the top and grind. Let's take a close up. Just so smooth. It's so satisfying seeing the gears. I think in this shot you get a good idea of what those uh, burrs look like. You can get a good appreciation of what that gear mechanism looks like. It would be nice if these gears were metal. Um, I can definitely see myself, you know, trying to track down a spare set in case they ever do wear out. Just feels great in the hand. Like you, it feels like you have a ton of leverage with this kind of vertical crank handle. Um, and I just think this is something that's going to be, you know, it's solid metal. You have, you know, metal burrs. Um, I don't see this thing uh, breaking on me anytime soon. The only thing that I can think of is maybe these gears wearing out over time. Um, but I don't think that's going to be a big issue to uh, to replace or or track down a different gear system to fix. All right, so uh, we did the unboxing. I pulled a couple shots, a uh, bit of a process to kind of dial it in. Um, but you know what, it was actually uh, quite a pleasure to do and um, it, it, the, the grinder definitely has like there's some, I, I live in Calgary, so it's pretty dry here in general in the winter time. Um, so you got to kind of give it a bit of a spray or a splash of water before you throw the beans in there. But um, overall, the experience uh, of grinding your own beans, I think, is, is so pleasurable, and, and the grounds look and feel um, even within your within your fingers so consistent. Um, it did took me like two or three shots to kind of dial it in. Originally, kind of when I went through that dialing process, I said, okay, well, let's find the spot where those burrs don't make any noise. Um, that was way too coarse, so basically, I kind of cranked it up two or three um, from there until I found a, a good consistent, um, very fine uh, ground and then um, drew a shot, it was like I think 15, uh, or pull a shot and it was about 15 seconds um, and then cranked it up, you know, three more steps or four more steps um, and it was just about perfect so it took me, you know, maybe t three three shots to kind of dial it in, which is, uh, I mean, pretty good. And then um, basically from here on out, uh, it's just a matter of um, kind of figuring out how many notches I have to pull out 
to get um, to my uh, pour over V60 um, ground size and, uh, and that's pretty much it. So it'll be interesting to see how consistent it, it will be as I flip through espresso uh, back to V60 and, uh, and so on and I guess we'll find out. I'm excited to see how um, the, the grinder kind of holds, holds up with time and uh, so far it feels great. Um, it certainly takes a few turns of the handle to, to grind, you know, 16, 20 grams of, of espresso. But, but to be honest with you, it's, it's fun. It's just a nice experience. And if you're not in a terrible rush and you're okay to spend, you know, another 45 seconds in the morning to kind of grind your beans and, and go through that process, I personally think it makes the, the coffee experience that much more pleasurable and uh, uh, intricate and um, intimate. So um, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy. It's a great grinder. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do a full review on the grinder. Um, I touched on, a little bit on it today, but um, I'm excited to kind of go over some of the details and the fussiness of it uh, and, and kind of my, my pros and cons of kind of going with the grinder like this and uh, see if it's, if it's a good fit for you. For now, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully it's given you a little bit of uh, uh, clarity as far as you know, what the rock experience is and definitely the Cafune experience for me which uh, is my second purchase from them and again, blown me out of the water with, uh, with a little uh, gift here. And um, I mean, I paid for you know, all this kind of stuff myself so um, I just, I just genuinely enjoyed the experience with, you know, with that company and uh, they do a great job and I think it's worth checking out some of their stuff and you know, going through that buying experience yourself. Uh, they have all the right gear and uh, they'll take care of you. So uh, thank you again Justin and Caffeine team, hopefully I pronounced that right this time and uh, till next time, okay? Take care. One more thing, if you have questions, comments con or concerns, drop me in line in the comment section below. If you, want to, um, if you want me to try something new or try something different, just uh, write me a quick message in the comments and uh, yeah, I, I'd love to try and help you uh, if you're kind of considering this grinder um, to run some experiments and, uh, and you know, comparisons as well. So uh, stay tuned for my full review and uh, we'll check back soon.